Welcome to Club Wisdom 8. I am happy to tell you that the petition to save Shining Force has reached 300. I've decided that every time we go up by 100, I am going to let you know. And also, I've been asked to just say a bit more. I was worried that you guys would be bored because I expected that you already saw my old videos. As it appears that many of you have not, um, well, let me just explain to you. What's happening is once this petition reaches 1,000, yes, 1,000, and at the moment we're at 30%, 30%. Once we reach 1,000, I will send this petition directly to Nintendo and Camelot as the main contenders to purchase this game. Next up, I am going to put it for press releases so that it can gain international coverage. As a result, as a result, what is expected to happen is that some major companies are going to try, hopefully, to make a purchase of this game from Vespa. As Vespa continue to fall down, as they continue to enter into bankruptcy, this is a chance for a company to take on Shining Force. And as Vespa fall, as Vespa fall, so should the price of Shining Force. The problem that we're having is, is that it appears that Vespa bought Shining Force in order to give a bundled deal. Yeah, they didn't buy Shining Force to put it out. They bought Shining Force to package it with a stupid company they made called Hive in Japan. And they expected some stupid Korean company to buy it. They approached Com to us. Come to us did not buy it. Now, this is the opposite of what some weird YouTubers have said. It's not come to us coming to Vespa. It's Vespa approaching companies, and the main one was come to us in order to sell the game. Come to us are not that stupid, so they didn't purchase it. Now, what what? they probably would have purchased would be just the Shining Force IP without Hive. They don't need, other companies don't necessarily need Hive, which is a dying, which is an awful type of company. It's bought out games that haven't done well, and it was only made in 2018. So, of course, it would seem for Vespa a great deal to sell a dying company, a company that's making them bleed money, bleed bleed cash by attaching a famous IP to it, yet no one is falling for it. Shame on Vespa. Now, what should happen is that if you guys don't support Time Fenders, Time Defenders, yeah, that's right, if you guys don't support that game, and as people, the King's Raid community are realizing how awful Vespa is, and as the recent news is with King's Raid, which is that um, they've stopped, um, Vespa have stopped giving two week updates. They've just said, we're going to give updates whenever we deem necessary, meaning that the King's Raid community now understand that um, Vespa have ha either they've lost money, they don't have the money to do it, or they understand that there are problems with the money injected into King's Raid. And they know that possibly they're just putting the money into King's Raid 2 and Time Defenders. However, however, there is not enough money to even to deal with King's Raid 2 and Time Defenders. So what is going to happen is that Vespa were trying to reach out to people to help them. Who knows who's going to help them. But the Shining Force IP is just left. Now, the idea would be, the ideal situation would be is if someone could buy it. Now, I don't want some company worse than Vespa to buy it. This would be awful. This would be awful. And Vespa are definitely going to sell it to make a profit. So any company buying Shining Force would not be very, like, happy from the amount of money they'd lose. So the ideal is just let Vespa keep bleeding their cash. 
don't support Vesper. Don't support anything to do with Vesper. Don't support King's Raid. Don't support Time Defenders. Don't support King's Raid 2. Let them die and let them sell Shining Forces as soon as possible and make sure the top companies are aware so that the highest bidder can just take it. And I'm hoping that can be Camelot through Nintendo. So that would be the ideal situation. Again, com to us would be a great company to buy it as a set alternative if it had to be a Korean company. Because as you're aware, my Eternal Saga game is supported by com to us which is actually not that bad. So that's my update and I really need this petition to hit a thousand. Any one of you can help manage to do this. All you have to do is just keep signing here on the right and get this get this through ask your friends ask communities okay all the best club wisdom 8 and thank you